Yali, here's a look at one of your slalom training runs. All right, good job. Some good stuff in there, some things to work on. Um, some of it is somewhat, you know, consistent with what I said in our last um, slalom training video, which was we need to bring the line up the hill. We need to be, in other words, turning more above the gate. We need to have zipper down the hill, meaning more square per body down the hill. We got to avoid, get rid of that scissoring or the V and we got to be at, meaning we got to be really outside ski All right we got to make sure we are pole planting so coming through here um I want to try to get that pole a little more horizontal like this so we can as soon as we clear that gate drop it to the ground and we need a more forward pole plant you kind of you should should right now drop it to the ground, but you kind of hung, 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 and then you dropped it behind you. Right? We want a forward pole plant. We want to get that pole plant more vertical here and not out there behind you. Sometimes you, we get really bent over, and we don't really need that. You know, so we don't have to bend over that much at the waist. Um, we're looking to really block the gate as we've talked right here, right at the bottom of that. Right? We want the, the pole, our ski pole, the tip to be a little bit more forward. A little more forward this way. Right, we block it right there and then drop it to the ground with a pole plan. You kind of hesitate, then you get it going, but it's you do pole plan, but it's behind you. You know, we again we don't need to be that bent over. Um, you know, we talked about I mentioned, you know, we need to bring our line up the hill more, uh, have more turn shape. You kind of want straight at this thing. And all your turn is down here, well below the gate, right? Again, pretty bent over. Not, not easy to get the feet out from underneath us uh, when we're that bent over at the waist. We talked about the V, all right? So we're kind of cheating here. We're going to start that turn on the inside. We got weight on the inside ski. Eventually, we, you know, we're still looking for the outside ski. We're still in that V, but, but virtually that whole turn was done on the inside ski. And you see the outside ski kind of, the feet widen because, you know, you didn't have any weight on it. Just kind of ran straight. I I like how it it appeared like, you know, using good ankles and knees. You're in the front of the boot here. You're gonna roll them up. The problem was that you started the turn way too early. So you started the turn well before rise line. And if you look, think about it, you know, if you actually still in the outside ski and carve this thing, where would you end up? Well, on the wrong side of the gate, right? Or at least straddling it. So you had to kind of lay off, lay off, do nothing, do nothing. And then pressure now below the gate. And look at you way down there, right? So we've got to remember that we have to be patient. So, you know, so don't start that turn before we really get to rise line. So just to review, there's the gate. Rise line is going to be that imaginary line drawn up from the gate. And we want to get ourselves, you know, intersect rise line still with our skis pointing out and away. So we can bring turn shape back, but we got to, we can't start too early. If you started turning here too early, then we have to go kind of straight and down here, right? So if you turn, turn too early, you will be late, right? So 
you know, intersect, you really want to intersect rise line and start your turn, and we want pressure in the fall line. All right, so we're not looking to turn around the gate. We don't have half a turn above, half our turn below. We're trying to turn around some piece of snow over here. All right, and if we have that kind of turn shape, that gate will then be more or less in our way at the completion of the of our turn, and we clear it out. But like I said, I love the way it was like you're rolling up ankles and knees. You just couldn't do it because you had to lay off the skis there. Again, we got the V going on. All right, whenever we have that, we know there's not... There's weight on the inside. You can watch the outside ski just sort of move around. Um, we talked about, you know, we have to be zipper down the hill, right? Because anytime we start rotating like that and reaching for that gate, right? We're going to be, we're going to reach for it. Upper body's going to lead. The hip is going to then move out this way. The skis will flatten out, and we're gonna and we're gonna skid. All right, so we got to make sure we're square down the hill. All right. Came in here. You you rotated. I mean, you're already looking. You're you're facing you know this way more or less, and we want to be down the hill, looking down the hill with our upper body. Same here. You're obviously looking right, you're facing me when you want upper body going more down the hill. Zipper down the hill. Here you kind of reached around, rotated the upper body now in the direction of travel. We, we want to be facing more down there. So the hip went out a little bit this way. Skis flattened out. And a little skid right there. So we really can't pressure the outside ski properly when we rotate the upper body in the direction of the turn or lead the turn. Right. You know, flushes, we gotta, we gotta, you know, start working on those. We have to be able to clear a flush with one arm, right? So you're gonna come up here and you're gonna, this happens to be, you know, cross block always the top gate, so it should be your left hand and left arm throughout. We're gonna cross block here. We're gonna use that same left arm and inside arm clear, and then we're gonna cross block at coming out. Again, we can kind of see reaching over a little bit, and therefore the hip went that way as the upper body rotated. The skis flattened out, and you can see a little spray down there. The good news was, you know, that day we were talking about how you were you're clearing on one side, right? But we were missing the other side. We just weren't getting prepared. We weren't pole planting. Now, this is a delay. It's a little different story. But, um, you know, generally speaking, that day we were, like here, you came in, cleared this one, right? Late pole plant behind you, weren't really ready, and, and it would, would, you know, then you were wide on that one. So you were clearing a bunch, particularly the right footers, missing the next. But a lot of it's going to come down to, you know, a quick pole plant getting ready, fast transition, being ready for the next one. So I know I threw a lot at you, but let's keep working hard.